Hey, welcome back to Ontario Lakeside. In the last video, you saw the plans. Well, this is what we managed to get done in one summer. This is going to be the great room, kitchen and uh, living room. As you can see, we've got the floor platform done, but not much else. The bedroom side is all dried in. It's got the metal roof on and the windows are in, so it's good. We got our tools stored in there. And you can see our 500 gallon uh, water tank there is lying beside it. We're hoping that this summer we'll be able to keep working and get this side dried in. Then we can start using it. What a gorgeous day. Cottage looks like it's in good shape. Let's go in and have a look. Dry as a bone inside. Our little uh, tool bench is still in order, which is excellent. It's hard, I don't have a wide enough lens to really give you a full feel, but here's as wide as I can get. There you can see the loft. One small bedroom here, and another one here. Like I said, these are gonna be uh, like a little sailboat, really tight. We'll have a bed here, Maybe room for a little dresser on that wall. And back here where the tools are is where the bathroom will be. And then this doorway here will be open and it will be stairs down to the other great room. Here's a view of the structure underneath. It's all 2x10 joists sitting on triple 2x10 beams, which are in turn sitting on 6x6 six six posts, which either rest directly on the bedrock, or in this case, on a footing that is anchored to the bedrock. 
So this footing is about 8 inches long and at the bottom it sits directly on bedrock and it's rebarred in. Whereas if you look at this one in the back here, that's bolted with a 5 eighths, 5 eighths inch bolt directly to the bedrock. We got a lot done this summer. In the end, it's more than I thought we would get done. And I gotta thank all the people that helped out. Without them, there's no way we would have gotten this far. So thanks everybody, and we, I look forward to having you helping in this summer.